Hello, and here we are at NAB AES 2023 in New York. I am here with Clive Osborne of Cedar. Clive, it is so good to see you. Uh, tell us uh, what we're looking at. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, we're looking here today at the Cedar VoiceX plugin. This is an AI based uh, plugin. Uh, developed from all uh, hours and hours of uh, voice audio uh, to train an algorithm uh, and coupled with our years of expertise in noise reduction. And we've come up with this very, very simple plugin that anybody can use. It runs uh, either as an AAX on Pro Tools, uh, VST3 or AU for Logic, etc. Uh, for both Mac and PC and licensed uh, using iLock. Uh, the plugin itself has two controls. Uh, very simple, you can use one control to the, adjust your level of noise within the signal and one to adjust the level of the voice. And so we could pull out noise, increase voice. If you wanted more ambience, you can back that off a little bit and leave a bit more of the noise in. You could even do the opposite and pull out the voice and leave the noise behind. If you ever wanted it was too loud or you wanted to take an unwanted voice out of a signal. Um, Yep, runs in real time, and uh, it's available now. How much is it, and uh, what's the latency? Okay, life? yeah, in the US it's eleven hundred dollars. Um, the latency is longer than our normal plugins, but it's about two thousand samples. Uh huh. So, uh, very much a, a plugin application rather than a something like our DNS products, which we put into hardware. And is there a demo avail available? A demo is available online, so all you have to do is go uh, to our website, go to the VoiceX product page, and anyone can download a 14-day uh, demo if you have an iLock account. Awesome. So Fareed would like to know for VoiceX, is it for live or post-production, would you reckon? You can run it in real time on the, on the Pro Tools or where, whatever you're using, but the, because of the latency, it's probably less of a live application, so more likely to be a post-production application. But 2,000 samples uh, depends on what you're doing. Yeah, you know, with with these boxes, a lot of people are using them on a live broadcast, and the presenter, the anchor, or whatever, will want to have a feedback into his ear, yeah. and you can't have that with 2,000 samples latency. So, no. Uh, but I imagine 2,000 samples is like, what is it, one or two, two or three frames? I'm trying to trying to do the math. Yeah, in my me head. too. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not. It's not impossible. No, it's not impossible As long as you don't have to if, feed if, it if back. If it's not critical to yeah. what you're doing, then yes, you can use it live. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. What else do you have to see? Uh, we're also looking here at our uh, DNS hardware. And we have all three products here in the range. The DNS2, which is the portable two-channel unit. The DNS8D we've had for some time again, which is the eight-channel unit that runs over Dante. And the more recent one is the DNS4. And that's a four-channel unit, a game portable, using the high rose connector for 12 volt uh, power. This has four channels of analog in and four channels of digital in and out as well. On the analog side, two of those channels are mic pre-inputs with phantom power. These units, whichever one you choose, have very, very low latency, around about 10 samples, so you can use them truly in real time on a live broadcast or some other live to air setup. Clive, thank you very much. Great, thank you. Enjoy the show. Thank you.